Woman had headaches for nine months before doctors discover the horrifying cause. Headaches are often the result of life's everyday stresses, but sometimes they're signs of something worse. The best thing to do if you're suffering from chronic migraines is to see your doctor. That's exactly what one woman did when her aches and pains simply wouldn't stop after nine excruciating months. For the most part, 31-year-old Yadira Rostro lived a quiet life in Garland, Texas. She was a working single mother, so it was only natural that she would deal with bouts of stress from time to time. She figured it was just a side effect of her busy life. In an attempt to alleviate her stress, Yadira decided to go on a vacation with her family to Mexico. That way, she could forget about everything for a few days, recharge her batteries, and get back to her life with new energy. Unfortunately, when Yadira returned from her trip, she began suffering from regular migraines. They occurred over the course of two years, and each would often last for several days. When one simply refused to go away for a full nine months, she decided to finally have it checked out. And that's when she discovered the horrifying truth. Yadira visited the Methodist Dallas Medical Center near her home to have a CT scan performed. Initially, her doctor suggested she could be suffering from a brain tumor, but the test ruled that out. Yadira's doctors continued to assess her problem. They realized that there was something preventing the flow of spinal fluid to her brain, but they had to be certain before they could take action. In the meantime, Yadira's doctors inserted a catheter to help her relieve the pressure in her head. She would need an emergency MRI to explain what exactly was causing her excruciating headaches. During her MRI, doctors made an alarming discovery. They found a series of small sacs connected to the base of the young mother's brain. The medical staff was horrified. Those sacs looked an awful lot like tapeworm eggs. To be certain, the doctors consulted an infectious disease specialist who quickly confirmed their suspicions. They knew they had to take action as soon as possible. Yadira's life depended on it, and they scheduled for her immediate surgery. Yadira's life was now in her surgeon's hands. They had to remove a small portion of her skull to gain full access to the base of her brain. Once the doctors got to work, they found exactly what they were looking for. We did an incision at the base of the skull, removing part of her skull, splitting the cerebellum, Dr. Richard Mayett, the operating neurosurgeon, explained. Right then, we could see the sacs of tapeworm larvae at the base of the brainstem. With the use of a high-tech microscope, the medical team managed to safely remove all the sacs from the base of Yadira's brain. They looked a little bit like eggs. They have a clear sac and inside it a small tapeworm, Dr. Mayrat said. The procedure was so rare that the medical staff decided to film it in its entirety. Of course, it was far too much for Yadira to watch herself. I think she's just happy to be alive, added Dr. Mayrat. Her headaches are gone and she's feeling better. Even in all his years as a medical surgeon, Dr. Mayrat was shocked that he witnessed Yadira's case. It was certainly out of the ordinary, something I had not seen in a very long time, but I'm glad we got to her in time and could save her life, he said. Once the procedure was finished, the doctors confirmed it was those egg sacs that had been blocking the necessary fluids from getting to Yadira's brain. In turn, they caused her to suffer those painful headaches for so long. But how did she get tapeworms in her head? Yadira and her doctor traced back what could have caused the tapeworm. Ultimately, the doctor concluded that she'd likely eaten meat contaminated with fecal matter when her family vacationed in Mexico two years earlier, since the timeline coincided with when her headaches began. Doctors confirmed that such infections often took place when consuming contaminated meats, but it was also possible to become infected with tapeworms after coming into contact with an affected person or animal too. The World Health Organization itself said that tapeworm infections like Yadira's weren't common in the United States. In total, there were only 1,000 Americans hospitalized with such an illness every year.
Yadira's surgeons couldn't believe how lucky the young mother was to have survived the ordeal. Her infection, known as neurocystocercosis, has been known to kill those affected. In 2010, more than 1,000 people lost their lives to it worldwide. Treating a tapeworm infection could be quite costly for those who were suffering from one. The average surgery and treatment runs a patient a whopping $38,000. It would be a hefty sum for practically anyone. Thankfully, Yadira managed to go to the doctor in time to save her life. Since the surgery, she was well on her way to making a full recovery. I'm very grateful to God that I'm in his hands, she said with relief.